welcome to Day in Life at Yab Yab Ramon Lam Sivo, one more channel. Today's still August 31st. This is my last video for today and hopefully you guys will like this video because I'm kind of running out of stuff to talk about, you know, different jobs or volunteer work and stuff like that in my videos. So continuing on a little bit from the last video, after getting shoved around and, you know, getting picked on and stuff and then I bump into one shelf, like I shoved hard into a shelf and I tried hard to hold on to that shelf, it was, the shelf was slippery and it fell down, it fell over and it dunked into your shelf and bumped into your shelf and next thing you know I got a dozen shelves and books are everywhere and I quit, I just walked away and quit. I said, told me uh, that I went for lunch and I don't know anything about it, there was no cameras at that time so, and I was like, they were like, oh somebody uh, tipped over a shelf and all, and all those stuff, like, you got a lot of work to do and it's like, for what I'm for what I'm doing for you guys, I ain't getting paid really anything because it's school, and I'm not gonna be over there picking up books and organizing them because I'm not getting really paid for anything. I'm sorry, I, I quit. I, I am really sorry. I know I feel bad, but you know, no time because I felt bad because I was going after that guy and gonna little punch him in the head for what you know what he caused. I did into uh, like uh, school uh, janitorial stuff, you know, you know janitors. Uh, uh, sick or they're looking for another janitor and then you know, uh, people are you know in the PA saying uh, are looking for somebody part time for janitorial work and after school so sure you know it was only after school so anything that was happening now and then like if there's um, I'm not exactly sure how that happened not only that and other places and stuff I don't know between 16 and 18 and uh, you know moving from here and there and doing other stuff and not too sure what else I was into at that time am I going through a brain fart again also the uh, um, worm hunting for uh, fish tackle uh, uh, making little bead stuff uh, things for uh, fly fishing and stuff like that you know, little, I forget what you call them helping and uh, stuff like that uh, even beadwork, I was got my hands in beadwork and doing uh, headband stuff, wristbands and ankleets and waistlets and you name it. Uh, even earrings and stuff like that. Just certain things of beadwork, you know, that was something around you know, between 16 and 18 and just gaming, hanging out with friends and doing stuff and like a lot of that stuff. And, um, I have not really worked in a like a burger restaurant or a pizza restaurant, but I've you know done uh, helped out in community barbecues. Um, I even making sandwiches and uh, soup kitchens. I talked about that, didn't I? Uh, just stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure what else I was doing at that time. It's just a lot of different stuff here and there. Um. Uh, gravel work, you know, them pouring out gravel, me holding the sign, or me helping out pouring, out, uh, spreading out the gravel, making it uh, good for a driveway or a road and stuff. And that was just some, you know, kind of miscellaneous kind of job. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. I just skip to you know me moving to the reserve and living at my uh, aunt, actually my grandma's. My grandma's, my dad's mom's. My dad was there, I was there, a couple cousins, a couple uncles, an aunt. Yeah, it was pretty crammed, it was pretty crammed. It was getting half built and some of that. We were living there and not really any place to go to. My dad was wanted to be there and help there and like six months in and then, and you know, my dad says he's done over. He's getting his house built soon. So I think I was not a year maybe a year and a half at my grandfather's, so I moved to my grandfather's house, which is just right across the street. So then helping out with the chickens and far, uh, farm stuff, like um, feeding the pigs and the chickens, the goats, uh, the geese, uh, ducks, little pony, dogs, cats, rabbits, guineas, peacocks, swans, uh, guinea pigs, like a lot of those, uh, you know, different stuff. My grandpa had on the property, and had to feed them certain times, certain ways, and stuff like that. And 
making a little bit of money off of me. He was a little stickler, he didn't want to give me money. He, he wanted me to be paying him for rent and, uh, and not really making, not, not really doing enough chores there. I got to find a job or, you know, get in, uh, you know, some kind of assistance. And I went on to assistance because I was in between looking for jobs. and did do some odd jobs here and there and uh, done a job training and stuff like that. And working on my friend's farm and shoveling crap, making some money there. Um, I don't know, helping at uh, football events, uh, hockey events, soccer events, whatever season was. You know, that person who moved that walks around with that tray with something hot or something cold, walking around. and Man, that was some back breaking. My back was getting really sore, you know, by 18. I was feeling my back that time. Not only that, you know, stretching and doing that stuff and, and getting used to that doing that stuff, but still my back's always been sore. I mean, all my life, I feel my back more and more. After that bike crash, that was, that was like uh, 10, 11 days ago. And now my knee's better, you know, bruise is just about gone here. But anyway, going back to stuff like that, I worked in a restaurant. Um, I think I started, you know, sweeping and mopping. Uh, then uh, picking up uh, the dishes from the things to doing dishes or helping out with cooking this and that. Not really so much at working the cashier because the boss is you know, kind of leery on people who are younger and uh, experienced by you know that stuff or and you know stocking shelves or bringing stuff from the truck to the basement or the one back room and even going down to the basement when there's nothing to do to peeling potatoes and putting them through the slicer that makes fries and put them in the bucket and I get done the idea of like doing more buckets because sometimes in the summer when there's no school and so that there's more people like especially Thursdays or Fridays like Friday Saturday Sundays is, is big days for um, home fries or french fries you know stuff like that. potato wedges seems potato wedges was a little bit difficult too to do but you know doing the fry buckets and squishing through and making the fries and lemon water buckets and then put them in the fridge and you know, doing them one by one and then it's called for two and people are getting to know that this is new business they're coming the morning doing four buckets and then most of the time I spend myself down there doing even eight buckets and twelve buckets and down there all the time in the dark and a little bit of, I got a little bit of a little small radio with me and I don't hear him saying hey can you bring up a barrel of uh, fries and some of the hear him he's come down and he's like did you hear me? And it's like, okay, okay, yes, I hear you now. Don't have my radio up that loud. Can you speak up a little louder, maybe, or come down the stairs and not yell at me? He goes, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I done so much work in there and uh, was there so much time and times and stuff like that, and that business went under. That business went under. That guy went bankrupt, and he didn't pay like maybe six or seven of us. And we were pissed off. We couldn't figure out where he went to, and we never seen him again. He owed me two weeks of pay. He owed a lot of people two weeks of pay. And from there, you know, look for work, and now I'm doing landscaping, like uh, cutting grass and planting trees again, and uh, doing weed eating, and you know, stuff like that. Looking for work. And then that's when I'm shortly after, maybe babysitting. There's a lot of babysitting. did a lot of babysitting in my life. So by 19, by 19, I know I'm already moved in my dad's and, um, yeah, I was at my dad's and I just had to ride down the street to this uh, variety store and that's where I was working. Good catchy name, so much work and I don't know, I guess somehow he went bankrupt and look, his, looked like his business was doing great. I think he was just made a, a bunch of money in the pocket and then screw us over and then move his business someplace else and then probably do the same thing or something. I don't know. He just left pretty quick. He didn't say that we're getting, uh, you guys are getting canned, you're getting fired or anything like that. It just disappeared. So anyway, after that, I started working the racetrack. Not always working, also having a bit of fun. If I'm dry, uh, riding that big uh, tractor looking thing, I don't know, it was picking up the, the rows of uh, split tires to um, to give a, give a certain line for the pit because it was a, a new um, speedway thing. You know, the, oh, yeah, I could say that. I mean, the sweetest speedway I was working at that. Uh, 
I was just cutting grass and doing weeds and stuff like that and painting the white walls and then the orange walls too, you know, I had to switch from one thing to the other, cutting grass inside, outside, and then doing this and that, and then there was a time there was like four of us, and one uh, was always like, he got fired, one uh, was always coming stoned and doing stupid things, and then he got fired, and the other guy goes, you and I can't do all this work, I, I can't, I can't keep up with this, I'm going to quit, so I toughed it out, I did a lot of work for well, my boss later on realized it was cousins. And his sister, I said this story before, but I'm going to say it again. His sister was pissing me off. She goes, I seen you sitting down on the job. I was like, I was tired. I needed some, I needed a break because I was always, you know, cutting grass and stuff. Like, where were you cutting grass? Like, it looked like you were not really doing much out there. He's like, yeah, I cut that grass. I cut the other one's grass. I cut his grandma's grass, his aunt's grass. I did the weeding in the ditches. I mean, I'm doing that like every, every bunch of days, you know. And then I'm doing stuff around the yard, and then one day she was, uh, I came in from outside, and I passed out from the heat, because it was so hot, and I wasn't going to drink, because I didn't want to go in there, and she was going to crab at me, because I'm taking a break, getting some water. She goes, I seen you laying on the job, she goes, if you don't, if you don't get enough sleep, and you don't come in, then just don't come in, and like, it's like, I passed out from, from heat exhaustion, you'd be, and she's like, oh, she goes, I'm going to tell him, I don't care, tell him, I'm going to tell him how you've been mean to me. And I just got fed up. And that's the time when I came there and I was looking for work. And I was looking for work so bad that the shoes I was wearing had no soles left. I was walking on gravel. I had no money for anything and no assistance because I was going from job to job. And then he hired me on the spot because he knows a bunch of stuff they did. And he didn't have to see a resume. He just hired me on the spot because of my shoes. He gave me brand new shoes because he had shoe donations like from sponsors and stuff. And I didn't care what kind of shoes he had. I didn't care if it was white, black, gray, blue, blue, pink, green, whatever. Even pink, I didn't give a crap. He gave me some little dark gray shoes, brand name. They were comfortable. They had a springiness to it. And I said, oh, man, thank you. I was in tears because I was happy to have some good shoes. So, yeah, like I said, I was doing a lot of jobs. And I went to, you know, doing security work. Um... Oh, that's, you know, that's after uh, putting out the barrels for garbage. Next day, taking the barrels of garbage and taking to the big bin and putting the barrels uh, behind the building someplace. Um, doing stuff like that. And I have, like, the little, little, um, uh, little four-wheeler thing, you know, a little um, trailer thing on there and then there's barrels and stuff and moving and stuff around. That was fun. And then doing a little bit of rally stuff with the car and doing figure eights and... Uh, trying to be, be a record and stuff like that and doing a little bit of fun. I mean, he was his idea. And, you know, we had a lot of little fun. And then, then that's when I started doing the um, security work because the day stuff, I wasn't really making all that much money. You know, I did get on assistance because he couldn't pay so much. And then got out of assistance and then did the um, security work and, you know, the day work. And I was there like 16 to 18 hours a day, every day. Maybe 16, 16 hours, yeah. About 16 to 18 hours a day. Every day. But anyway, I got nothing really more to say right now. Because I gotta wrap this up. If you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Remember share this video on your channel. It might have been for you, it might have been for me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for viewing this video. What time you guys watch it? Hope you all have a nice day. It's morning night. Remember, it's better to be aboriginal than original.